Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we're going to do something, we're going to, it's kind of a throwback. So our very first episode was trying atomic horseradish and that went okay. I tested it with gefilte fish because the other thing that you would typically find horseradish or horseradish sauce with is prime rib. I didn't have prime rib handy, but I do today and I'm going to try a different horseradish. And this one is billed as being the hottest horseradish out there. And this is Beaver brand extra hot horseradish prepared with fresh grated horseradish roots. Now, uh, Beaver is a great brand. They do really, really good mustards. They're located in, I, I think, Beaverton, Oregon. Uh, it could be the Beaverton area, like uh, Portland area. Let's see. Uh, Hillsboro. Hillsboro, which is the next city over from, from Beaverton. But that's why they get the name Beaver. And this is currently billed as the hottest horseradish. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to remember back to 2015 when our very first episode, our first episode first came out back in 2015 when we tried the atomic horseradish and we're going to compare it to this. Now, today I am fortunate enough to be able to also test it with prime rib. Now, full disclosure, this is not prime rib. This is rib, uh, a ribeye steak. Now, the difference is that a prime rib is typically a, a larger, it's a larger cut and it's typically roasted in the oven and then you cut slices off, which is served as prime rib, which is usually the inside is nice and rare and hot and juicy and mm -hmm. um, But the ribeye is basically a cut of that and they cut it before they actually roast it. So it's just a, it's just a cut of meat. So this is actually from the same cut of meat as a prime rib. This is just like the inside. Prime rib, again, is typically roasted in the oven or it could be grilled, and this one I grilled. So hopefully the flavor will be somewhat the same. The cooking preparation is a little bit different, but the, 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 the taste should be the same, and we should be able to tell what the horseradish tastes like with that. Now, for this, instead of putting the horseradish direct, directly on it, I made horseradish sauce, which is typically what you would find. Now, horseradish sauce typically has sour cream in it. I didn't have sour cream on hand, so I made a horseradish sauce with ranch dressing. Now the reason I use ranch dressing is because ranch dressing has mayonnaise in it, but it also has buttermilk in it, which, you know, kind of has that same flavor as sour cream. I used a dry mustard because using a spicy mustard, kind of redundant, so I didn't do that. And then I added the horseradish in. So we'll see what that's like. Now, I also decided that, again, to be a fair test to the atomic horseradish, I wanted to use gefilte fish. Now, uh, the last time I think I used Manischewitz, which is a really popular brand, not the best, I would prefer a homemade gefilte fish, and if you have not experienced a homemade gefilte fish, you should, because it, they, can, they can really be amazing. Now, I have a friend, I won't even mention her name, because I was blessed to be able to make gefilte fish with her, with her mother's recipe, which she's gonna take to the grave with her. So it's not written down anywhere. She, you know, the, it's, a, it's a top secret, it's, you know, it's, it's in a vault and all guarded by, armed guards and stuff like that. And so so I, I can't share that. I wish I could use that gefilte fish, but you know, like I said, finely guarded secret, but it's amazing. So I instead uh, decided I'm gonna use Yehuda. And uh, this one I have not tried before. It is kosher? It is kosher. So uh, we're gonna try this one. Let's start with that, because that's the simplest application. So we use the gefilte fish and put the horseradish on, on top of that. Here we go. Very gelatinous. And let's put some of the atomic horseradish on top of it. That ought to be enough. That's probably too much. We'll see. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay, it's like smelling salts. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's hot. Well, not hot. Whatever, whatever it is that horseradish is. Whoa. Whoa. So 
if you've ever eaten horseradish, just like a spoonful of horseradish or anything, it sends like these fumes up the back of your nose and into your nose. And it's, it's immediately like your body's going like, what is that? Why is that in my body? So this is, that's crazy. Let me take another bite. That's hot. The inside of my nose is burning. Wow. Oh, it punches you, and then when you're not looking, it sucker punches you again. Wow, that is, that is serious. The gefilte fish, not the best gefilte fish I've had, but yeah, that's okay. Wow, that's pretty hardcore. All right, so let's go ahead and try it with prime rib. Well, in this case, our ribeye. Ooh, nice and pink on the inside. And we just put this on the grill. We just grill that. Hopefully that's gonna be really nice. And let's take out some of the horseradish sauce that we made and put that on the top. Let's give this a shot. Mm-hmm. No. With it in the sauce with the other stuff, you get those other flavors. You get the mustard flavor. You get, in this case, the ranch dressing flavor. You get those flavors, and the horseradish is a little bit subdued, but then the horseradish comes in afterwards. It doesn't seem to have that same effect of just, you know, kind of like going up into the nose and offending like that. It's kind of mellow in the sauce, or mellower in the sauce. It's really nice. And with the ribeye and everything, it complements it really well. So that's, uh, that's really good. Um, all right, I'm probably going to hate myself for doing this, but let's just try it naked. And may God have mercy on my soul. Cheers. Wow. <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna say that from the best of my recollection, and remember this is 2015, that the atomic horseradish seemed to have, you know, more burn, more burn to it. Um, so I think it was, it was hotter from a burn standpoint. From a flavor standpoint, I think I like this one better. I can actually taste that, that horseradish taste I think I, I think I like the taste of this one better, and I think the atomic horseradish is more powerful. So I have a really hard time finding atomic horseradish. I uh, I think you can buy it online, but I've not seen it in any stores. Uh, this uh, a lot of the major grocery stores carry the Beaver brand, but they don't carry the extra hot horseradish. Uh, I think uh, in some places I saw where it listed that Walmart carries it but um, I was unable to find it there. So I had to order this online. They sent it to me online. Um, it's really good. It's gonna get, I mean, that's gonna get a thumbs up from me from horseradish. It's probably some, one of the best horseradishes I've tasted and it is pretty powerful. So I'm gonna, give it, I'm gonna give it a big thumbs up. Is it more powerful than atomic horseradish? Maybe not. Is it more flavorful than atomic horseradish? That's a yes. So, uh, so it's gonna get a big thumbs up for me. Again, if you decide to try horseradish, you know, I mean, you could just take a spoonful of it and try it like that, but you know, try it in typical ways that you would actually do horseradish as a sauce for prime rib on, on gefilte fish, something along those lines. Let me know what you think. If you, uh, if you can find either one of these, try them, try them both together. Let me know if you had the same results that I do. I'd be curious to know. But when you get out there, remember that it's crazy out there. So please be careful. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon.
Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.